The Mesopotamians are an ancient society, like 6,000 years ago ancient. The first astronomers to make long-term written records by using observations called ziggurats. The Egyptians aligned many of their temples and monuments with major constellations. They also developed a calendar to predict the Nile flood. The civilization that made Stonehenge Monument left no written knowledge of Stonehenge and its people. Though we do know it is about 4,000 years old and is meant to align with the sun and the moon. The Chinese used astronomical occurrences to figure the length of a year like several other civilizations. They recorded meteor showers, which they called guest stars. They also have observations of eclipses as far back as the 13th century BC. The Egyptians taught Thales advanced measurements. He successfully predicted a solar eclipse in 585 BC. This seemed impossible at this time period. Pythagoras developed a model of the universe and stated that the Earth is round and revolves instead of being flat and stationary. He concluded most celestial bodies to be spheres. He also founded a religious sect and philosophical school. The Babylonians were part of the Mesopotamian civilization around 500 BC. They discovered Mars' synodic period, which is 780 days. Mars returns to the same position in the stars after 47 Earth years. They believed in astrology, a pseudoscience where the position of celestial objects influenced events on Earth. Soon after came horoscopes in astrology. They could predict lunar eclipses 2,700 years ago. They repeat every 223 months, or 18.6 years. Aristotle stated that all celestial motions must be circular, and Earth is composed of fire, water, air, and Earth. Aristarchus applied geometry to astronomy. He showed it was possible to tell the distance to the moon and the relative size and distance to the sun. Eratosthenes got his name in the history books by using geometry to calculate the size of the Earth. Hipparchus discovered a new star which prompted him to make what is probably the earliest systematic catalog of the brightest stars. This catalog had 850 stars. Many of the Mayan monuments and buildings aligned with the sunrise, sunset, equinoxes, and solstices. Unfortunately, most of the Mesoamerican books did not survive the Spanish conquest. Ptolemy was the very last great astronomer of antiquity. As a geographer, he invented the terrestrial lines of longitude and latitude. He was the first to orient maps north at the top and east to the right. The Arab and Muslim astronomers helped preserve ancient Greek astronomy. Many of their observations were located in Islamic cities. Copernicus created the heliocentric theory, which has the sun at the center of the universe. Brahe, the astronomer, used metal instead of wood in his equipment, which was very large. He and his assistant compiled ten times as much data as all earlier Renaissance astronomers combined. Galileo was a huge contribution to the study of astronomy because he had innovated the already existing telescope and made it far better than it already was. With the use of the telescope, he proved that several celestial objects are not perfect spheres. Jupiter has multiple satellites, which are basically moons, and that the sun does rotate. Kepler was a colleague of the astronomer Brahe, and was also successor to Brahe's data and research, which made him the imperial mathematician. Kepler theorized alpha movements for some planets, which had solved many problems in previous records of data. Isaac Newton was another huge contribution to the field of astronomy because he discovered the law of gravitation. Newton had also created three laws of motion, which were the law of inertia, the law of force, and the law of action and reaction. Edmund Halley had computed the orbit of Halley's Comet, which always had been a large factor in astronomy. Albert Einstein is considered one of the greatest minds of the 20th century. Einstein had created the theory of relativity and also revised Newton's laws of motion to make them more accurate in their definition. Niels Bohr had made the atomic structure model during his research of atoms. Bohr also did much research with the quantum theory.
Wolfgang Pauli had created the Pauli Principle, which states any two electrons in an atom cannot have identical sets of quantum numbers. Werner Heisenberg had created a complete method of calculating energy levels. Heisenberg also formulated the Uncertainty Principle and quantum theory of ferromagnetism. Edwin Hubble proved that our already colossal solar system is even bigger than previously thought because he discovered galaxies outside of the Milky Way. He also saw that galaxies move and proved it. Because of his contribution, a telescope was named after him, also known as the Hubble Telescope. George Lemaitre created the first expanding universe theory, and he also formulated the current Big Bang Theory. Robert Oppenheimer was the not-so-proud creator of both the atomic and the even more devastating hydrogen bomb. Fred Hoyle contributed to the theory of stellar nucleosynthesis and steady-state theory, which states that the density stays the same as the universe expands. Also, he challenged Big Bang theorists, making them back up their theory with evidence. Penzias and Wilson discovered microwave radiation and also discovered a background noise in space help proving the Big Bang Theory. They also used an antenna to collect and amplify weak radio signals. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first two people to set foot on the moon with the aid of Apollo 11. The primary objective of the mission was to have a crewed lunar landing and return to Earth. Another important mission of theirs was to gather lunar samples and extensively photograph the lunar terrain.